It's Feedback Gaming. Welcome back to my continued playthrough of the Free American Empire. We just puppeted Mexico after a very, very bloody conflict, which has put them down to zero men. I don't think they're going to have any divisions for a very long time because <laughs> I literally obliterated every single man they ever owned. And I'll be honest with you, I think I've obliterated a lot of my army as well because I'm having a little issues with manpower as well now as well. Uh, we need to go for extensive conscription. Um, oh no, we already are extensive conscription. Wow, that's actually really bad. I just realized that we need to go by go for service by requirement. <laughs> but that will give us an extra 5% more... Uh, well, because 5% extra recruitable population, which should be about three, 2 or 3 million, which will be way, 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 way more than enough. Um, I'm getting to the stage now that I actually might need field hospitals. Anyway, we are actually helping out the French um, in... Yeah, we are helping out the French here. I, I don't even know how much we can actually help them, to be honest with you. They should be really happy with us because we're sending them troops, we're sending them volunteers, we're sending them equipment. But we've generated world tension, that's upset them. Ah, that's the reason why, isn't it? So... Yeah... Ah, oh, damn it. So, it's looking like that we're not actually going to be able to join the Allies. Wow, that's not what I imagined would happen. Whoops. Hmm. Okay. Trade partners, different ideology, world tension, improved relations. Try and do anything I can to possibly boost their, uh, maybe, oh, damn, maybe if we make them fascist, and then they'll like us. That's a crazy idea, and that just might even work. Have we got any new tanks yet? No, no new ones. We've not produced any new tanks yet, what? I think they've probably gone for the new the new tanks that have just been launched, haven't they? Can we send in a new more any more? You have twelve divisions, the maximum total is twelve. So it's fourteen. So we can send another two. So is, is that the way it works? Is that the more the longer the war goes on for the more we can actually send? Is that how it works? Well that's insane. Okay, we got another two, we can send those as well. Let's do it. Okay, France, send the two volunteers, go. losing this. Are they even piercing our armor? No, they're not. We've just got insanely large amounts of... Oh no, we're actually engaging them now. I think they're attacking from two angles. That's maybe the reason why we're losing all our momentum. Maybe. I'm not sure. Are we still, still sending more our gear? Yeah, we are. Send them all our motorized, our basic infantry equipment, and loads of towed artillery as well. Has our new division arrived yet? No. Oh, I just realized we're not researching. What can we go from from here? Do you think we should jump ahead? It'll be another year. That's really tempting, you because we get some insanely strong tanks. We'll go for that. It's 1941, so we could go for the extra tech. Never thought of that. We'll wait for the plane to finish, and then we'll go for some extra production. Uh, da, da, da. Where should we actually put these tanks? That's the problem, though. It feels like the front's so narrow. I don't know where to put them. And I'm really nervous I'm going to lose them. I'll be honest with you, this is not actually going to plan. This is not how I envisioned this would happen. I thought I was going to be able to join the Allies without any issues, but I don't know why that's going to happen now. Belgium has capitulated. Okay, the new plane is complete. And then we're going to jump on the new production. Which is going to be... Extra production cap. Awesome. Yeah, maybe if we're at war with Germany, then... Maybe the maybe UK will like us more. I don't know. But the minute you just won't let us join by a thousand points by the fact that we're a fascist, 
It's like to accept fascism minus a thousand. Damn, okay. Wow, there's like Venezuelan troops here as well. Insane. We're losing a lot of troops here. Here we are, losing a lot of tanks. Are we, how, are we losing so many because they've got anti-tank? They can only pierce a few of them, not all of them. It doesn't look like uh, we're having much joy here. I'm kind of worried that we might lose these divisions because these are some of our best divisions as well. Okay, maybe we should go here maybe and push them back to the river. Got a lot of divisions based up here. I think they may have moved more divisions up because we're, we're pounding them so heavily. Okay, I'm gonna let them do their own thing for a little while, but we are losing an insane amount of tanks. Let's have a look. What's the production like? Oh damn, we're just not producing as much as we want, as much as we need. We've got basic weapons down. I think it's time to start producing better guns now, isn't it? We've held back long enough for that now. Let's just do it. Oh, we lose so much production. We lose at least eighty percent of the production. Damn. Okay, I realize we're actually sending them actually too many trucks right now. We're sending them way too many. I realize that our production of trucks is getting held back now because we're sending them too many. We have half of my production. Well, to be honest, we're not producing any more of those guns anymore, are we? We have 10,000 of those. Can you send 10,000? There you go. I have 10,000 guns. Go. <laughs> that is an insane amount of guns. Insane. That's a one-off right there. We're only selling a one-off. And we don't even we don't even have those anymore, do we? No, clear all this end. Done. Are they are they okay now? Okay. Okay, now it's time to go for <laughs> service by requirement. Yeah, you got three million dudes now. Okay, that's an insane amount of troops. Ask to join faction, it won't let you. So the question is now, if I was to launch an attack... If I was to launch an attack on... On Germany, where would I launch it from? That is the question. Where would that happen? Hmm... It is really tempting to try and maybe try and make friends with Spain, maybe, and then we can assault through Spain, maybe? I don't know, that's the only solution I can think of. Okay, this gives us extra breakthrough, and it also gives us extra organization. Okay. So the question is, what's going to happen when I lose these troops? Because I've lost the war, haven't I? I want to lose them, aren't I? How do I... Is it actually possible to recall them? It's not, I don't think, is it? So the problem now is I'm going to lose like an absolutely huge number of troops here, aren't I? The problem is, is I've sent, I'm not actually sent enough divisions to actually make a, a worthy difference to this cause, have I? That's the problem. And they're getting pushed back on every front. So here's the two choices right now. Do I... Do I let these divisions die? And will I get them back? I don't think I'll get them back, will I? No, I won't get them back. This is pretty much GG from this point. I guess I'm better off disbanding them, aren't I? If they get attacked and killed by the enemy, 
I'm not going to get them back after the war. That's only if, I, if I'm a part of the victor, isn't it? Not if I'm part of the losers. Okay, let's get out of here. Is that the mall? Well, it has been insanely sweet, but I'm gonna have to leave now. Can I, will it let me leave? That's the question, though. I'm, I'm actually a little bit confused how this works. No, I don't think it's gonna actually let me leave. What the hell? <laughs> I don't think it's gonna let me leave. 